Sir, sir. Hi guys, so welcome for today's video. I'm introducing you the Magnum 250, a 2004 model, which is a motor star. So this is basically a clone of the Rebel 250. As you can see, it is a stock form at this is, and we'll try to restore it. So uh, as I have said earlier, so this is a 2004 model. So as you can see, this is the best way that it can be seen as of right now as with its condition so for the front tires i already changed this but this front tire is only a surplus because i still haven't decided on which kind of tire to put in there if i'm going to put dunlop or um, pirelli or a racing tire and for the back tire i also have changed the back tire now the back tire is a jura tire so it's a cheap brand from the philippines the size for this is 130 by 90 by 15 so I bought this brand new because you need proper grip at the rear end. So that's why I bought it brand new. And then the size for the front tire is 130, 90 by 16. Now I know the tires are pretty similar in size, but it gives that a big tire look even though the tires aren't, aren't that big and even though the mags aren't that big. And I also plan to change the color of the mags into black. As you can see, it's silver. Because the original color for this is red, so I will still have to repaint it red. Plus, the things that we will do here with this motorcycle is, of course, the paint. As you can see, the paint is pretty eroded. It has a lot of scratches. It has a lot of sticker marks, as you can see there. And even the, um, the back side of this long panel, it's full of corrosion. So we will need to have to repaint that. So. My idea for the paint for this motorcycle is black and red, so it has a clean look, but we'll see if the chrome fits it. And now for the uh, front part, we will change all of this, including the three headlights. I'll make it into a single headlight. As you can see, it's pretty um, <laughs> broken and pretty dirty, and it shakes. And I don't like that it shakes because it's noisy. And this one is foldable, so we also have to change that. And also, as you can see, because we changed the front tire, we will also be installing a front fender soon that is exactly the size of the front tire, whenever that is. So I'm still deciding between 110 or 130 for the front tire. And what else? I also did the carb adapter. So I went to my mechanic and asked him to create this because most of these things when you go into Shopee or you go to other motorcycles, what they put in there are rubber. Now rubber, when it's heated, it collapses and it gets destroyed. So that's why we thought of a way to make it steel. And now even though it is a little corroded, it would never melt. Now for the spark plug, we have put soft go, soft, 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 soft. Sokvo, Sokvo, yeah, we put Sokvo in there. So since this is a twin head, it has two spark plugs, the left and the right. As you can see, it also has two pipes. And the elbow is still stuck. Only the pipe itself is, isn't because this is a straight header and there's no um, material inside. Later, I'll let you hear what it sounds like, but I think you already heard it at the first time. And then, yeah, and then the clutch lining for this motorcycle. Most of the time, people who has this motorcycle say it's for TMX155. But my advice for you is open it first before you buy the parts. Because most of the time, it isn't. When we opened this, the clutch lining for this was for a rouser. So you better check it first before you buy the parts. Also, for the piston, which is inside, and the block, I already made this rebore and are also upgrade the piston from 53 to 54 mm to give it more power now when we go at the back i also change the sprocket size for this i'll show you Ooh, there 
as you can see the sprocket size is still stuck if you go close to the number it says 32 and then for, for the front socket you can see it but it's 1432 so basically the size is 1432 for the shock this is my old shock i got this from my other motorcycle the keyway i placed it here just for the meantime because the old shock that came with this motorcycle was too hard now this is a bit softer than usual and then this uh, back fender we will also need to cut it because it's too long for me because basically the whole concept of this motorcycle would be a bobber cruiser type so that's why i don't like this because this goes into the chicano, chicano style or the mexican style and now when you go into the front you'll see there's a little panel in here and it's missing <laughs> the lights on the left side and then the fuel gauge isn't working so we still have to fix that so my mechanic said we should buy a new harness for all of this including these ones for it to properly work and there's also some tape in here because <laughs> it's too old it's too old so we need to change it now the only things that i'm undecided with this motorcycle is this crash guard because as you can see this crash guard wasn't finished there's no ending into it it's just open so i have to decide if i have to go through here or just remove it entirely and then yeah i guess that's about it for this motorcycle now before we go uh i just wanted to let you hear how the motorcycle sounds like This is its idle. Now when you rev it, it sounds like a big bike. So every time you, you bring this on the street, they, they're gonna ask you how much CC is it. It is. It's just basically 250, but the firing of the pistons are in a 360 synchronous rotation. So that's why it sounds like that. Plus, if you get any new motor motorcycle that looks like this or similar to this the sound won't be the same even if you make it a straight pipe so yeah so stay tuned and follow me guys so you would see how we would build this motorcycle to a bobber and cruiser type so yeah take a look <laughs> Ayan, saka mo, Ed. Saka mo, siya tayo na is...
Paano yun? Sir, sir, what do you do for a living? Tambay. Tambay? Hmm. Uh, how much do you earn per month? Itlog. Damn, damn. <laughs> what advice would you give to up and coming uh, tambays like yourself? Matulog lang matulog at kumain. Uh, thank you so much sir. Thank you. Have a good day.